So when I look at, at this kind of molecule here, it's, uh, it's kind of like a cyclic Nomex, if you will. Nomex is related to, uh, related to Kevlar. The difference being that instead of a linear molecule, you've got one that goes in circles. And uh, one time, one, once uh, some reactions were being looked at, which uh, involved the formation of uh, Nomax, and every now and then some crystals would, would form in the uh, in the, the product, and those crystals were extremely difficult to dissolve. Then they they fouled up the um, they fouled up the spinnerets from which spinnerets are small holes, which uh, where the the polymer streamers exited before fiber formation. And that uh, uh, fouling of the spinnerets by the particles was was simply could not be tolerated. So the question was, what were these things? What were the th these things that were so so crystalline and so difficult to deal with. And so what we did was we collected a few of them and uh, <clears throat> collected a few of them and uh, said, well, what, what, what are they? Well, we had a, a guy whose name was Young Kim, a guy whose name was Joe Calabrese, and Young Kim was given a solution of this Nomex-like material, and uh, took a look at the nuclear magnet, M NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance structure of it, and came to a certain conclusion. Then Joe Calabrese took the particles of the solid that came out of solution and looked at it, and the conclusion was, was that you had a structure had one ring on top of another ring that was joined together by calcium hexafluoride. And so you had, had, it had a ring, then calcium hexafluoride, and then another ring. So you had a ring on top of a ring that was separated by calcium hexafluoride. And these are not space-filling models, so they look, look quite empty. When you take a look at <coughs> when you take a look at this these molecules, you see they are all space filled, and uh, same kind of information in here that is in here. The difference is that you have uh, a structure that uh, is space filling, and uh, from my point of view. We got to the point where we had determined that this crystalline material that came out of solution and fouled up spinning or fouled up spinnerets was composed of, uh, of uh, these trimers that were separated by calcium hexachloride. Now, sorry if this was a little, a little bit confusing, but uh, what uh, what's really nice about these these molecular models is that they give you a chance to uh, to take a, a look at what might be going on in solutions of these kinds of things.